Tonight, I'm going to show you everything you need to make coconut almond protein bars. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Tonight's treat comes as a response to a request from our compadre, Neil. I'd been considering a protein bar episode for a while, and this was enough to actually bring it to fruition. I know that calling a protein bar candy is a bit of a stretch, but it's going to have chocolate both in it and on it, so I think we can welcome it into our family of treats. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own protein bars, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one cup of creamy almond butter, one tablespoon of agave nectar, honey would work as well, one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of oatmeal, one half cup of coconut flour, one third cup of chocolate protein powder, one quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, a pinch of salt, and one half cup of sugar-free semi-sweet chocolate chips. I also used an eight by eight pan, some parchment, a couple of bowls, a spatula, a whisk, a stand mixer, and an offset spatula. Okay, let's make some candy. Line the baking pan. In the bowl of a stand mixer, combine the peanut butter, agave nectar, and vanilla. In a separate bowl, mix the oats, coconut flour, protein powder, coconut, and salt. Add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, mixing until a crumbly dough forms. If the dough seems too dry, you can add a little coconut oil until it reaches the desired consistency. Press the dough firmly into the baking pan. Refrigerate it for about 30 minutes to set, then melt the chocolate chips, spread the chocolate over the mixture, and leave it on the counter to set. Finally, cut the mixture into 16 2 inch by 2 inch bars. And that's it!
If you're enjoying this video, please click the subscribe button and turn on notifications for the channel. I'd love for you to join me in this confectionery caravan. Slancha va! There's a hint of the protein powder flavor, which you'll recognize if you've ever had a protein shake, but it's not too much. The coconut and almond flavors are there, but quite mild. I'm really glad I added the chocolate topping because that's where the bulk of the flavor comes from. As far as nutrition, these have about the same number of calories and grams of protein as a Cliff Bar, but way less sodium and net carbs. If you'd like to take a whack at making your own protein bars, you really ought to try these. And thanks for the suggestion, Neil. Tonight, I'm going to show you everything you need to make. Nope. Tonight, I'm going to show you everything you need to make chocolate coconut pip. Then melt the chocolate chip. I'll leave it everything.